Welcome back to our channel. Now we are looking at uh, the, the Dow Jones uh, Industrial Average. And uh, we can see that there was not a lot of action uh, the last five trading days. However, on Friday, we did have quite a substantial um, increase. Um, but probably the main reason why we are so sluggish here is because of, uh, of Boeing. Boeing is just getting hammered. And especially since uh, Warren Buffett came out and said that they were selling all their airline stock and uh, underlying industries are are going to be affected for a quite uh, substantial amount of time. Uh, Boeing basically stock went uh, uh, was quite heavily in, uh, impacted. But if we look at this, we can basically see that we have uh, quite of a gap up here. So this will be. Um, uh, a resistant when when the price hits around um, twenty five thousand. We can also see that we have the, the two hundred moving average up here, and this line is going to go uh, a little bit down. So we'll have a resistance around this area here on around twenty five thousand. Uh, subsequently, if we take the the Fibonacci retracement we can see that the 61.8 retracement is around this area. So, so around 25,000, 25,300, something like that, we will see a lot of resistance. We all see that we have this uh, big gap here, which will play uh, a significant role of, uh, of, uh, of resisting this uh, upward trend. Um, if we go and look at the MACD, we can see that the MACD is about to uh, signal that we are going to break down here, uh, indicating that that um, this bear run will come to an end quite soon and will go uh, continue lower. But if we look at the stochastic, the stochastic is indicating that we are um, we'll, we'll probably take a few more days. This will probably be more like three more trading days before we go down. So we may see a, a higher and higher until we hit this um, uh, area here that is around uh, 25,300 area. Uh, there's not a lot of volatility. The, the Bollinger Band are, are, are not far apart. So there's not a, vol a lot of volatility here. And uh, what is something that is also um, uh, interesting is that there's not a lot of volume. The volume here is uh, similar to the volume before this uh, massive um, sell-off. And uh, the volume has just increased, decreased um, since um, around uh, the end of March and so on. There has not been the same kind of action in the market uh, since uh, since March, but um, there's just a massive disconnect between the stock market at the moment and the real economy. Um, there is um, uh, there is the unemployment rate is at the moment the highest it has been since the Great Depression, and all the other fundamentals for the economy are just absolutely terrible. So at some point, Wall Street will um, wake up and uh, this will go lower uh, uh, probably the also reason that that we are just going higher is because the market has not um, factored in that there will most likely be a second wave and and the reason why we're going up at this moment is because this is the it is predicting the most uh, positive outcome if you can say it like that that the coronavirus will uh, just go away and everybody will go back to work that is not the case millions of people will lose their job uh, consumption will be uh, will be much lower for a very long time and um, and the economy will most likely not go lower than um, the lowest point in march but I can imagine that it goes down to around 21,000 before we go higher. And that may take uh, quite a long time. We'll probably work 
in this area for, uh, for a very long time before we go higher. So uh, thank you for listening and um, subscribe to our channel. It will be, we will be very happy to for your support. Thank you very much.